Hi, my name is Michael Chua and I'm an ophthalmologist at the Puente Hills Eye Care Center. If you're considering cataract surgery, you probably already know that the natural lens inside the eye has become cloudy. And during cataract surgery, this natural cloudy lens will be removed and replaced with a clear new artificial lens called an intraocular lens or IOL. The purpose of this new intraocular lens is to focus light onto the retina and to restore clarity to your vision. The exciting thing these days is that there's a wide variety of lenses that exist, each with its own characteristics to help you meet your vision needs. But all of these lens choices can be overwhelming. So my goal in this video is to provide an overview of the different lens options that exist and to provide the pros and cons of each lens. By the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding of the different lenses. So when you have your appointment with your eye surgeon to discuss the different lens options, you'll be more informed and be able to make a better decision for which lens is best for you. Before we can fully understand the different lens options, we first have to review two important concepts, accommodation and visual zones. As we discuss the different lens options, we'll be referring to these two concepts frequently. So let's first review accommodation. This is a cross section of the eye with the lens here inside the eye. The purpose of the lens is to focus incoming light onto the retina. When we're all younger, such as in our teens and twenties, our eyes have the ability to autofocus. So for example, if we're looking at something far away then want to focus on something up close, look what happens to the lens shape. The lens is flexible. It's able to change its shape so that we can keep the close object in focus. Throughout the day, the lens is constantly changing its shape so that we can keep everything in focus. This process is called accommodation. As we all age, we lose the ability to autofocus or accommodate. This process is called presbyopia. Most people begin to develop presbyopia around age 40. And when we're in our 50s and 60s, we begin to need reading glasses to see things up close. Let's quickly look at some photographs to demonstrate the importance of accommodation and visual zones in cataract surgery. This photograph illustrates the three zones of vision. The near zone consists of the visual field about one foot away. Things that we usually do in the near zone include using our cell phone or tablet, looking at the food on our plate, reading a book, menus or prescription bottles, hobbies such as arts and crafts, sewing or knitting. The intermediate zone consists of things that are two to three feet away. Everyday activities using intermediate vision include computer or laptop use, putting on makeup or looking at the mirror, using the speedometer or GPS while driving a car, looking at items in the grocery aisle, or cooking. The distance zone comprises of objects that are further away, typically five feet or greater. Things that we use our distance vision for include looking at street signs, watching TV or movies, reading the chalkboard or whiteboard in the front of the class, or outdoor activities such as hiking or playing sports. When we're younger, we're able to maintain everything in focus because we have the ability of accommodation. So, if we were watching TV and then wanted to look at our phone, it would be no problem. But as we all get a little bit older, we lose this ability. This photo simulates what that's like. Notice that the distant zone is in focus, but the near and intermediate zones are blurry. This is why an eye doctor may prescribe you bifocal or trifocal glasses, which have stronger powers towards the bottom of the lens to help you see up close. Now that we've covered this background information, let's review the different lenses. The first lens is the monofocal lens. This basic single focus lens optimizes vision for one visual zone. Most people have these lenses set for distance vision. So to look at near or intermediate objects, patients may require one or two additional pairs of glasses. The pros of these lenses is that they provide crisp, clear vision for one visual zone. They're also covered by Medicare and most private insurances. The con of these lenses is that for near and intermediate vision, 
patients may require one or two additional pairs of glasses. The next set of lenses are the lifestyle or premium lenses. These consist of the extended depth of field or multifocal lenses. These special lenses provide a range of vision, allowing you to see in two or in some cases, three zones of vision. Some examples of lenses in this category include the Symphony and Vividi lenses, which typically provide distance and intermediate vision, as well as the Panoptics and Synergy lenses, which can provide distance, intermediate, and near vision. The big pro with these lenses is that with the increased range of vision, there's a decreased dependence on requiring reading or computer glasses. Sounds great, right? We now have these lenses that can decrease your dependence on reading glasses, so you don't always have to carry one or two extra pair of glasses whenever you want to see something up close. Well, there are some trade-offs with these lenses that you need to be aware of. First, because of the design of these lenses, patients can often see rings around lights. Also, there can be some decreased contrast sensitivity or sharpness, particularly at night. Despite these trade-offs, these lenses have a very high satisfaction rate. Studies have shown that 95-97% to 97 of patients who receive these lifestyle lenses would choose to have the same lens implanted again. The last set of lenses, toric lenses, are for patients who have astigmatism. Astigmatism is when the front surface of the eye, or the cornea, is irregularly shaped. Usually, the cornea is supposed to be round, like a ball. But in some people, the cornea is shaped more like an egg. This causes distorted vision and blurriness. The purpose of the toric lens is to account for the astigmatism in the cornea, allowing light to be more effectively focused onto the retina, providing clearer vision. During cataract surgery, we're mostly working on the lens inside the eye, and we're not really changing the shape of the cornea. Therefore, if you have astigmatism and receive cataract surgery without a toric lens to account for your astigmatism, it's possible that you'll still have blurry vision and that you'll need glasses to account for your astigmatism. All of the above lenses mentioned previously have toric options. The pros of these lenses are that they provide crisp vision for patients with astigmatism and decrease their reliance on glasses. The con with these lenses is that the surgical process takes a little bit longer to line up the lens during surgery, but an experienced cataract surgeon will be able to do this for you. I know there are a lot of options to consider, so we created a vision lifestyle questionnaire to help you better understand your vision needs. During your consultation with your eye doctor, you'll be able to review the information in the questionnaire. This will help them come up with one or two lens options that best suit your vision needs. When thinking about cataract surgery, it's important to evaluate how often you use glasses and how important it is to you to see as good as possible without them. Each lens option comes with inherent trade-offs, so you'll want to think about those when you're making a decision. Although the lifestyle and toric lenses provide the latest technology in vision correction and convenience, they don't guarantee that you'll never need glasses. But they're a great option for any patient who wants to decrease their reliance on glasses as much as possible. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and would like to get your eyes checked or to be evaluated for cataracts, please feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. Thanks so much for your attention.